Hey guys, I'm back. I just, um, I paused the video, I paused the live stream, and uh, yeah, I wanted to switch things up from uh, the 440p to 1080p, and, and hopefully this um, works much better for you guys. Uh, hopefully you guys find me here. Okay, cool. Thank you for... How, how did you find me, MDA103? Did you just... Um, did it just pop up for you? Can you text that? Can you chat that to me? Okay, so let's, um, let's keep going here. Okay, cool. I'm just going to take some off of the top. Okay, notifications. Thank you, Travis. So, good. Because I know some people only find me through the link that I send. Okay, very cool. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Amit. Now, I, I'm learning. I'm new to the live streaming game. So, don't stream at... 440p. All right, so now I, I chiseled a little bit off of the top. Travis, I got your email and I started emailing you. And then um, my wife called me down for dinner and yesterday was such a stressful day, last day of class. And um, yeah, I'm glad that I paused the video and started over again. And I wrote, I was, wrote your email and I was in mid-email and then I went downstairs and then I never came back up. Okay, so I didn't even look at my email. It was just such a stressful day. So I got your email. I'll follow up with it, Travis, um, today when I'm done with this, I promise you. Okay, so that just helped chisel in a little bit. Let, let's go back to her face. So now um, I'm going to... So I, I guess when you go live, you have to kind of um, be flexible. So this tilting around so this is the underplane the cash shadow that her eye is casting and that helps a lot now this really droops down oh yeah that drop droops down so much more than what I have uh, I don't want to get too caught up with this but I need to have one anchor um, okay that's cool man and I, I would, I would, you're not going to lose the stuff on, on my website. It's going to be there for you if and when you decide to come back in the future. Because a lot of people like join the website and then they cancel and then they come back. And when they come back, all of their courses that they've completed, the documentation of that, it, it's still there. So I would take up the sale if you haven't already at the other website. No doubt. Um, I would totally do that if I was you. And yeah, I'm here for you. So if you come back in a year, uh, you come back in two years, I don't plan on going anywhere. Okay, so I'm just trying to droop some things because her head has a tilt. And above her eyelid, her eyes are very wide. Oh, I see. Okay, cool. So I'm going to leave it at that. And I don't want to resolve that eye anymore until I go to the other eye. So this is nothing but a round ball. Now, which eye is higher than the other? Um, her... This eye here that I'm working on is slightly lower. So I'm taking these measurements as I'm going. Little shadow shape. Thank you. How do you say, I wish you can speak to me, A-U-R-A, Aura? I wish I knew how to say your name. It's such a cool looking name. 
Maybe I'll go to, uh, they have this wonderful website, Name Pronunciation. I go there a lot for people on the website when I'm doing their critiques. Um, if I don't know how to say their names, I, I just type it in and it pronounces it. So I didn't know how to say Joanna, and Joanna, I think, is I-O-A-N-A, and that helped me so much with Joanna's name. So that that's just a quick rough-in of her eyes. My values are kind of all screwy right now, but don't worry about that. Okay, Aura, cool. That's a, that's a really cool name. Aurora. All right. Let's um, come on down now. And so this edge, so I'm, I'm measuring where the bottom of her nose is to the bottom of this part of her chin. It's a little lower. And yeah, so uh, you, I don't know if they have this photo online, the Met. The Met has the Hillenburg Gallery where they document all the pieces that are in display in the museum. And um, I photographed this one, but I wonder if she is on the website. She should be. It's just going to be uh, difficult to find her. It's short for Aurora. Okay, Aura. That's cool. I like that. Hey, Arjun. Thank you so much. How, Arjun, how did you find me? And is it better for you? All right, James. Awesome. So now I, I, I went from continuous line and I'm back in drawing like a painter mode. Yeah. Okay, so now upper lip shadow. There's a little sag to her face. Um, so don't think of that. Don't outline the lips. Yeah, it is, it, it is hard to see the statue. She's very faint and light. Um, I'm going to add this to... Uh, I, I mean, this this is just a statue from 1898, so it's in the public domain. Thank you, Arjun. It, so I, I learned, I'm learning uh, every day new things here, and uh, 1080p is so much better than 440p. 440p is what was creating the lag, and I will never do that again. But Arjun, seriously, how did you, um, do you, are you signed up for notica notifications for drawing to... DTO on YouTube. Shadow underneath the lip. <laughs> yeah, Luke is sleeping right now because he stays up till four o'clock in the morning playing video games. And um, he's, yeah, coronavirus has is, is got him in a bad place with the video game stuff but he's a lunatic with the drums no doubt okay so now it's time to reassess and I, I might start over so I, I have something going on with the features there that I can cling on to so now I, I want to start at the top here that's way too dark for a light statue but I'm not too concerned about the value ratios right now and I'm just going to, oh, I see. This is much lower than her eyelid cast shadow on her face. So I'm going to lower that. What is lower, this or this? So now I'm starting to take more of these measurements. Okay, Arjun, awesome. Thank you so much. Um, I got your email too, Arjun, about the playlist. And right now I'm obsessed with listening to Lana Del Rey's, uh, I've never listened to her before, but her new album, uh, and guess what the, her album is called? So I'm going to curse here. Well, I won't curse. It's Norman Effin Rockwell is the name of Lana Del Rey's album. And that's the only reason why I started listening to it. I was so curious about the name. Um, as you well know, I'm a big Norman Rockwell fan. And um, I saw that on the album cover. And I was like, what the hell? And then I started listening to her, and she's got a great voice in that album. Oh, my God. I only knew her from, like, a, a pop song that was on Hits 1 on Sirius XM. But this album is really a sophisticated album. It's really nice. 
I'll, I'll listen to your playlist maybe later today because I'm going to be drawing all day. But yeah, listen in. Try the Norman F. and Rockwell um, album from Lana Del Rey. I think you'll like it. Okay, so let's put a shape here. I curse all the time, but I, yeah, let, let me tell you, I was cursing le yesterday afternoon. Oh my God. I was so much going on. Um, last day of school, um, just lots happening with the school, you know, their school is not having, um, the students register, uh, from, uh, for next semester. So a lot of classes at the college are not going to run. So my class um, I've had classes not run in the past at SVA due to lack of enrollment, but never undergraduate. So if my undergraduate class does not run uh, next spring, I'm sorry, next fall in September due to lack of enrollment because the city is shut down of coronavirus, I am going to start oil painting again, and I'm going to start doing um, oil painting um, lessons again back on the website. So that is what I'm going to... Um, fill my brain with if my class doesn't run because that's going to be devastating for me if it doesn't run but I know everyone's going through shit with this oh I cursed uh, with this coronavirus um, so it's kind of hitting everybody in one form or the other an R-rated channel yeah right <laughs> as it is I can't even advertise on Facebook with my drawings because they're all figure drawings and Facebook doesn't like that. So, uh, and I, I don't do a lot of monetization of my figure drawing videos because YouTube won't allow that. So if I go R rated, then it's going to be even worse. Um, I'll really get blocked from these people. But that was a funny one. Okay, so I'm just playing with shadows over here. Yeah, I, I really... Um, I've got my paint box right here, and I haven't painted. The last oil painting I did was back in 2011. Uh, it was a, a, a tutorial for the website, a portrait painting tutorial. And um, I've gotten so much better since then, not with painting, but uh, just with drawing. And drawing is most of painting. So, yeah, I definitely want to consider that. So let me um, get this shadow over here. Aurora, um, so you found me. Good for you. I'm happy for you. We're both learning, right? I was concerned that you weren't going to find me. So let's move this over. Still refining the edges, little convex line. Thank you, Arjun. Yeah, I think uh, um, I don't think I'll ever paint the way that I, I used to paint. Uh, it, I just, you know, the story that I told on the, the member only podcast this week was about the amount of paintings that I've, I've uh, thank you, Aurora, uh, that I've cre created over the years. And um, the history that I have with oil painting is, is massive. And I, I think I kind of want to get back to it. And in life, um, I'm a big believer in uh, this phrase, like the tide comes in and the tide goes out. So there are times that I just stop doing things for whatever reason, and now I think I'm ready maybe to dive back into it. <laughs> that was funny, Aurora. Now, uh, yeah, when you emailed me yesterday uh, about uh, the link, I was like in the middle, knee-deep in chaos. Okay, just let's um, wrap that around once again, little side plane over here. Okay, so I don't know if I'm going to use the brush today, but let's erase out some mistake lines. I, I do want to render this more, though, today. So I'm pressing down really hard. Those mistake lines, I should break the line a little bit over there. Break the line. And lower that a touch. So draw with your eraser. I don't have enough tone down on the on the board to really draw with my eraser. Okay, now let's use the big brush. 
So look at the one that I did. Okay, very good, very good. So look at the one that I, I did before I started drawing here. It, look at how much simpler it is uh, because I just, you know, I didn't care. I was just kind of drawing. Um, and it's so much simpler and lighter. And look at this one, how heavy it is. It's really way too heavy. Uh, it's because I'm thinking too much. Okay, this one I just nailed it right away, in my opinion, uh, and with a few little lines. And I guess that's the way that it goes sometimes. Um, all right, now let's go back into the head. Um, John Tra turned out as Travolta. Okay, love <laughs> that. Oh, that guy from last week, the sergeant guy. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I, I don't watch any other artists on, on YouTube. Um, so for me on YouTube, I'm a consumer of information. So I teach my students this. Let me just try to draw as I talk here. Um, I, I teach my students that uh, there's two different types of people in the world. There's producers and there's consumers. And as an artist, you want to be a producer of content. Um, you don't always want to be a consumer. Uh, because if you're consuming content, that means you're not producing content. And in order to earn a living as an artist, you need to produce content. So I really don't watch other artists on YouTube uh, just because when I see them working, like I, I have a couple of coaching students who say, hey, check this artist out. They're doing this. And I, and I look at that and um, I'm like, okay, I understand. They're just using... Teachers use different languages to describe things, but most teachers, if you're going to teach to draw in this academic, uh, traditional sort of way, they all teach the same thing. It's just their personality is coming into the teaching and they're using different language, um, different context of what they're saying. And I just, I, I, I find I have a really, really hard time watching other artists um, speak because as, as I'm watching it, I'm like, okay, okay, I understand what they're doing. And I just get like a little frustrated and I just, I, I can't watch it. So the videos that I watch on YouTube um, are kind of like hobbies that I have outside of art. Um, so that's usually what I watch on, on YouTube. I, I never watch art. So you, you have to understand that uh, my life is consumed with art uh, 24 hours a day because it's, it's my job. And whether I'm doing coaching videos or I'm teaching at the School of Visual Arts or if I'm, you know, doing my own drawings, or I'm making a new course for the website, um, I need time to kind of break from uh, art, because it, if you do it too much, it's going to get um, boring. So you need to have that time away from it. So the last thing I want to do is spend my free time watching other artists teach what I teach, just using different language. Um, not that, you know, I not that I think that I'm like some higher than now person and, you know, I can't watch other people. There are so many talented people out there. It's insane. Like even this past week, the I learned so many new artists this past week because I uh, had a class and I asked my students to share with me who their favorite artists are. And they did. And I learned a whole bunch of new, really, really great artists. And there's so much talent out there. Uh, it's crazy how much talent there is. And, you know, I, I try to teach my students ways to cope with the amount of talent that is out there because technically it, it can become very overwhelming, especially if you're 19 years old, 20 years old, um, and you're not where you want to be with your skill set. Uh, you know, your confidence level is not there. And then you go on YouTube and you see these people doing these beautiful pieces of art very easily and you know your confidence could get just like crushed so i i there's so much talent out there and you look at these people and you're like oh my god how am i supposed to compete with that now and um it's it's just part of an artist like you you just have to compete or else uh you're going to be sunk but yeah it's just there's i'm just i'm blown away every single day at the amount of talent that is out there not only on youtube but just you know, I, I, now my students say a lot of them use Twitter and I never use Twitter and there's so much talent on there as well. 
I tried to use the Loomis. It helped me in my case with proportions, but still is difficult. So here, here's my thing, Kev, with formulas. I like formulas. F formulas are good. Um, but I, I like formulas to keep in the back of my mind. Like I, I think of the formulas mentally, but I draw physically the way that I'm showing you here today. So I, her, her hair is way too high. Oh my God, I just leaned back and I noticed that. So we're gonna do major surgery right now. Major surgery, major surgery, major surgery. Let's cut all that down. Now, you see what I'm doing as I'm erasing here? I didn't have to erase that. I could have turned that into a background tone and I probably will do that um, just to get rid of those marks and I'll do that off camera. So don't be afraid to just dive on in. Um, the thing that I haven't really done yet here today is um, lean back. I haven't gotten up off of my chair so you don't really see proportions great when you don't do that. So again, I'm fixing this again. Just keep looking. Sometimes you just need to work on something for a while before you see what you need to see. Why is it important to draw from sculpt sculpture? Um, well, for me, drawing from sculpture sometimes is just a necessity uh, because I maybe I, I don't have access to a live model. I can't draw from a live model. Um, I don't want to use the photographs that I, I photograph. I, I try to only draw from my own photographs. I try not to draw from other people's photographs for the main subject matter, like the figure or the portrait. Um, so I, the sculpture is good because it fills um, the void of not having anything to draw. There's so much sculpture in so many museums that it's just um, it's abundant. So, and it's all lit really nicely. So it, that is the necessity part of it. Um, and then the learning part of it is that sculptors, you, you wanna think like a sculptor and sculptors practice drawing and why shouldn't we practice sculpture in this particular case? Um, it, I think it's just such a really good thing to draw because you're trying, it's, you know, this might sound weird, but I, I'd say it like in all sincerity, it's like you're, you date different people to learn new things and, and to meet new people and to get into their head and try to figure what they like, what they don't like. And it's the same thing when you draw sculpture. It's like you're dating that sculptor and you're trying to get into the head of how they sculpted it. Um, I've had some students come to my class and draw on their iPads and I'm, uh, these are students that have taken my class and they're fourth year students and third year students and sometimes they come back and they visit me and they draw on their iPad. Um, but the way that I teach the freshmen, um, I don't think freshmen is politically correct anymore, but the way that I, I teach uh, first year students is with the pencil and, and paper. And uh, then in the spring semester, what we do is we um, do illustrations which are technically background scenes for their animation and they get to work digitally. Ah, you see what I did there? I went too hard with that. Too hard, too stiff, my God. So let's Um, I have a question. Okay. Obviously an artist, one will always strive to better himself. But when you, when you're in your life, you started feeling not like a beginner anymore. And so for me, it was, um, when, uh, I started working for certain, uh, publishing companies, um, big publishing companies in Manhattan. And I had an eight, an illustrator's agent and uh, they started hiring me over and over and over again. Um, that was all the confidence that I needed for myself personally, uh, because my goal in my early 20s was to become a book cover illustrator. And that was the only thing that I ever wanted to do. And um, once I was doing that and earning a living doing it, uh, that's when my confidence kind of skyrocketed. So for me, um, 
it was that. That's when I knew. So right now, um, my values are all over the place, and what I can understand here is that this is too dark. Uh, so the the way that you deal with the value ratio uh, with the value range is the value ratios. So right now we are drawing a very light marble statue, okay, and um, my value ratios should be much much lighter than what I'm doing, um, but they're not. So uh, it's it's just because of time. So sculptures are best to practice on first and then actual faces. No, it doesn't matter. I would just dive into doing both. Now, withdrawing, um, Sophie, I hope I'm saying your name correctly. Withdrawing, it's about pencil mileage. And I, you know, uh, I have severe problems with my cervical discs in my neck because of a car accident. And um, so for a while there, I had some numbness in my hand. And then when I was younger, I used to be a lunatic playing ice hockey, uh, racing bikes and doing all that stuff. And I have a lot of injuries and um, with my body. So the, the key to your hand is not your hand. It's your spine and the nerves coming from your vertebrae into your hand. Uh, if you can get your back aligned properly, like a lot of your hand problems will go away. Because I used to think it was like in my hand, but it wasn't in my hand. It was um, in my neck. Uh, and the nerves feeding down to my hands uh, were being pinched a little bit, and I couldn't really hold the pencil as good as I wanted to. And um, so now I, I just, it, for me, it's always like today my hand's a little stiff. So what I need to do is I, I need to do some exercises with my neck. Um, so I teach this stuff in class. I did it yesterday. Um, I showed people all these books that I, I read. Um, that could be a whole nother live stream that really, really helped me. One book that helped me tremendously is a book from Pete Egoscu called Pain Free. And that's just one of his books on YouTube. If you type in Pete E. Goscu, E. G. O. S. Q. U. Some, yeah, something like that. E. Goscu. I'm not good with spelling, drawing, and talking at the same time. Um, his videos are really good for your hand issues. He has specific videos on uh, YouTube that teach you what exercises to do for your hands to loosen them up, wrist pain, and all that stuff. Um, okay, so I think I'm gonna use the brush, okay? I need to soften this whole sucker up. And I'm gonna now, so this is really, yeah, Egoscu, there you go. Thank you, Arjun. Um, this is really important. As soon as I use the brush, everything's gonna become too dark, and it's not gonna look like a marble statue. Now, I could keep using the brush, and I could keep, um, pushing down hard and you see what I'm doing I'm blending into the background with the brush Travis I'm sorry I know that you hate this noise I was thinking about you today with the brush thing um, so this is gonna make everything darker so I'm, I'm specifically that was a tongue twister specifically blending into the background to take the pencil off of the brush Okay, now I'm going to have to come back into it now and draw with my eraser. Yeah, I'm sorry for that noise. I know some of you guys don't like that. And um, let's soften this eye socket. Okay, now I definitely need to come back into this and let's use a little brush with my eraser and pull some stuff out. So push the pencil into the paper, push the pencil into the paper. So I told you guys that um, the thing that people do here on Long Island in New York, that's where I live, Eastern Long Island, uh, is when somebody has a birthday party, all these cars drive by the person's house and they beep the horn. Well, they're doing that today, and I think they're going to start doing that shortly. So maybe when they you, they do that, I'll ask you guys if, if you can hear the horns. Um, okay, so you see what I just did there with the softness? I technically could do it under the nose, uh, cast shadow, softer, lighter cast shadow. There's two cast shadows, upper lip, soft, no outlines. 
lower lip cast shadow, soft, no outlines. Yeah, no, no, Travis, I I thought about it. And, uh, you know, these things, like, I, I think about this stuff all the time, Travis, in terms of people watching the videos. Like, what could potentially be really annoying? Am I saying, like, a word over and over again? Um, is Am I repeating the same stories over and over again? Uh, yeah, I, I'd say I do that. Uh, but in the classroom, like, I, ha I have... A, a rule I only have three rules in the classroom okay and the, these are the my rules in my classroom at the School of Visual Arts number one um, when I'm teaching you because I'm doing like a five minute demo at at most I'm not really doing these long demos when I'm teaching you I would rather you not talk with your friends okay so that's rule number one if you want I give you tons of time to talk with your friends just don't talk with them when I'm doing the demonstrations uh, rule number two when the model is on the model and stand nude i would rather you draw and not talk with your friends about video games and stuff like that uh, rule number three when the model is on the model and stand, nobody's allowed to have their cell phone out those are my basic three rules um, but there was another rule that i had and it was more of a joke uh, than anything else like i i give 45 minutes for a lunch break because it's a six hour class and um, i'm like listen here's rule number four when I give you lunch, eat during lunch. Do not bring your food back and eat when the model is on the model stand. Because I had some students do that. And that was like the most annoying thing ever to hear somebody chewing their food when we're trying to draw with a model. People do that pushing the horn thing on wedding days in Turkey. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they do that here too. But this is crazy because um, the guy across the street, he's a, he's a bit of a lunatic. Um, and uh, he's a really nice guy. And he has, he has a lot of friends. So there's going to be a lot of cars um, coming down the road. And my dogs are going to be going nuts because they're outside in the backyard. I don't even know how long I've been filming here. Okay, about a half an hour. So just pulling out some lights. There's a lot that needs to be done on this drawing. Oh my goodness. So this is the beginning stages. So it's still fairly light. Thank you. Celia, did I say your name right? That's a cool name. Yeah, be respectful. So it's unfortunate that sometimes you have to teach that, but it is what it is. Like I would say that my 13 year old son sometimes is not really respectful um yeah when he plays video games till four o'clock in the morning and then decides to go downstairs and microwave popcorn at at 3 a.m i would say that that's not respectful <laughs> uh god yeah true story hey sandy how are you we uh, had some troubles this morning with uh the live stream i i was trying to be uh I'm always about quality and I tried to do a higher stream rate and it just didn't work. Is it sunny where you are today, Sandy? Because it's beautiful here. Pulling out the lights. Sorry for blocking the statue. Okay, now um, I think I need to work a little bit more on the inside of this statue. So let me lean back. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So listen, I, I know if you guys watched me at the beginning um, of the live stream into this, I started the live stream at 10 a.m. and it's 11.16 in New York here. So if you want to fall off, I, I understand you don't have to continue to watch me. I'm going to save this. Uh, video. I'm definitely going to keep it on YouTube. This is the first part of the live stream. And then I'll pause and, and hey, Marie, and I'll, I'll put this, um, I'll film a little bit off camera. I also want to go visit um, YouTube, uh, Facebook uh, to share on there as well. Northern Ireland, that's right. My God. That must be so beautiful. My God. Is it all like lusciously green where you are?
Thank you, Josh. I really do appreciate that. Sometimes like when I'm in my studio alone, I'm like, God, what am I doing here? Is anyone benefiting from this? And I, when people say what you just said, that means a lot to me. Thank you, Aurora. I appreciate that. Yeah, the brush helps. Okay, so I'm just, um, this edge is horrendous. Let's use that eraser. Thank you. Wow. That now I thought my last name was hard to say, but Alian. Oh, Yancey. I like Yancey. No, uh, it was Travis uh, 1440 uh, P instead of 1080 P. So I must have misspoke. Yeah, no, uh, it was 1440 and it that that's not the best choice on my part. That was called a massive mistake. Okay, so there's a little reflected light under there. So we just shortened her maybe a little bit too much. So let me get this little guy and round that. There's a beautiful, um, yeah, I'm sorry, I misspoke. Sometimes I'm looking down um, at my drawing when I talk and it's not the clearest sound on that microphone. So this eye is just a round eyeball. I need to make it look like a ball shape. Wow, Sandy, I'm really jealous. That sounds beautiful. Um, oh, I wish I made that sculpture. My God, you're too kind, Denise. Uh, no, I photographed this sculpture at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. And I'm, I'm, I don't want to say your name because I'm going to butcher it. Celia? I can't even barely read it. Um, this is a statue at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Uh, the title of the statue is called Partridge, as in the Partridge family. So let me clarify the edge on that lower eyelid. It's a round cast shadow. Cool. And I want, uh, and this Partridge means peace, so she needs to look very peaceful. Yeah, the um, eye hand coordination, the only way that you're going to get that is um, by practicing continuing continuous line drawings and drawing all the time. Yeah, that needs to be rounder. Darn it. Why am I not getting this round? Let's um, pull out a little bit over there. Yeah, it's so nice out today. It's going to be like 68 degrees and just two days ago, it was like 40 mile an hour wind gusts and 45 degrees and rain. Um, so it's just, spring is weird. But yeah, if, if you feel you need to fall off because you've been watching me for a while, no. You, Celia, thank you. What is that a picture of um, your icon there? It looks like an upside down French bulldog or maybe an owl. Okay, let's work on this nose a little bit. I'm avoiding it. Okay, so there's this. Comes down to the center. And then the nostril is a little darker. And then this angles out. Yes, we used one little angle there. And let's get that cast shadows a little closer to the lower lip. Soften all this out. There's no white under the nose. It's the texture of the tooth of the paper is messing me up. Baby sloth. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, cool. We got that. Now, that's the main cast shadow underneath her nose. Um, Josh, it's both. I have uh, more traffic on the website, uh, more people upload in their drawings for a critique on Monday. And uh, so that's busier. And yeah, I have some people join in, but uh, I don't have a ton of new members join in. And yeah, absolutely, people have canceled their membership to my website because um, of financial situation. Uh, no doubt about it. Um, I see that happening. Um, it's, uh, I, I'm also seeing it at the college. So the college, uh, my undergraduate class may not run in the fall uh, because due to lack of enrollment because of both financial situations and um, a lot, a big part of the school, uh, like I think 50% of the School of Visual Arts has foreign students. So I don't think that the foreign students are even gonna be able to um, take classes at, at SVA and, and at least not right away. So yeah, it's, definitely affecting me all of this stuff it sucks that's too dark never want to outline with a line like that but for video let's just leave it a little underplane that's too dark oh yeah like if if um, for instance like some of the models at the at the college uh, the college just stopped and so the models immediately were unemployed okay yeah david you got it uh thank you for joining me i really appreciate it if uh you got my li initial live streams are usually an hour long um i'm just going to go a little bit longer with this one since we broke up a little bit um and if you feel the need that you need to uh, uh go please by all means go and thank you so much for joining me yeah, definitely, Dana. That was uh, that was the deal. That was such a good deal for you. Yeah, let's say, um, let me see, how long am I into this for? Uh, I'm going to go for about five more minutes, and then we'll put this live stream to bed, uh, and I'll get up, and I'll stretch a little bit, and I'll come back, and um, yeah, yeah, no doubt. I'll definitely have another sale. So just a little bit of a fuller upper lip, and this needs to be tilted. Down. Okay, that's better. And her lips are not that wide. They're very soft. There's no hard outline. I think one of the biggest mistakes people do with lips is they outline. Um, there's no outline on that lower lip. now. The lower lip is a cylinder, and uh, I know this is probably very hard for you guys to see on the video, but some of my pencil strokes I am really trying, and I've got her lower lip too thick. Um, I'm trying to wrap around the cylinder. I'm probably going to do that detail off camera so I can get my head more in front of the drawing. Um, this is wrapping around the cylinder. I'm looking at the distance from that to the edge of her face. I think the chin needs to kick out just a touch. Um, if I go back, just let's refine that eyelid. She's looking down, very peaceful. There's a side plane right there. So, okay, it's a soft drawing this time, first time around. Yeah, you. thank you so much, Celia. This is the other cast shadow, the second light source. This is the other cast shadow, the second light source that goes into the corner of the lips. That's too low, too big. So what we need to do is use this little tiny eraser and pull up with it. Pull up with the whole, that lower lip is too big. It's too full for this model. Okay, so let's use this brush and let's just lift up the shadow underneath her lower lip because it's, it's way too low. 
Yeah, 45 degree angle, um, Aurora. It's so much easier on my body. I, uh, Lyle, if you go to, um, just type in your, uh, com your browser bar, Drawing Tutorials Online. It should bring you to members.drawingtutorialsonline.com. It, and I have um, pricing or sign up today. Uh, you can see the price in there, or if you don't, if you're not interested in purchasing a membership right now, you could uh, just sign up for my email list and get notified when I post um, these live streams on YouTube. Yeah, and that's the way that I notify people that I'm having a sale. I, I haven't promoted in a long time that way, but it's through email. So if you go to my website and you email sign up for the free uh, class on how to draw the uh, figure with a white charcoal pencil. Um, that's the list uh, of people who sign up to that email list that I usually notify about a sale. I don't really promote sales that much on social media because I, I used to do that in the past and people would just get like so annoyed and um, be like, oh, you're too promoting, you're too promoting. So uh, if someone's gonna sign up to my email list, uh, then I'm going to um, let you know when I'm having a sale. So I need to move this over. Her face is wider. That shadow is wider at what I really meant to say. I haven't spent enough time on her face. This is not white. We can knock that down. This is the dark half tone. So now I'm in it for the long haul here. This is going to take me a while. That upper lip needs to be higher. I'm going to probably, um, I'm drawing from a smaller photo of this statue. I have a really big photo, but I'm trying to draw uh, within the confinements of what I'm seeing here on the screen for YouTube. Uh, but I'll draw from a bigger photo. The, the better the photo you can draw from, that's the goal, okay? Um, so when you do an image search on Google, make sure that you use the tools uh, size large for an image search. I would never do a Google image search without clicking large first in the tools. Yeah, it's definitely a better deal, no doubt about it. Um, the thing with the yearly that a, a lot of people don't, do not do that they, they need to do, and I, I have it in my FAQ, but I understand a lot of people just don't read a lot of these things. Their lives are very busy. But um, people will sign up for the yearly, and then it automatically renews because that's how the software works. And they get so angry with me when it renews. Um, but I have it written all over the website during the uh, sign-up process that uh, all membership plans renew just about. Uh, except for the one that Dana had that was a two-year. That was just a, a one-time purchase. But the monthly, the annual, and then the bi-weekly coaching, they all automatically renew. So you just have to mark it on your calendar if you don't want to get charged in one year. Thank you, Mr. Richmond. Okay, so this is just above her eye, above... Below her eyebrow is a shadow shape. It's making a tilted rectangle. This is much darker over here, so that's her center line. I haven't heard the horns yet, so I've gotten lucky. So I'm gonna experiment today with doing a few different live streams. So I'm probably gonna break now and I hope that you enjoyed this and I'm gonna maybe go on Facebook in a little while after I take like a little mini break and uh, just see what it's like there because I went on Facebook and it was like crickets and nobody was asking me any questions and I was like, okay, this is very much a different vibe than YouTube. Um, but I, I wanna experiment again with it because people saw, it. I didn't see their comments because um, they were commenting in, in, in a different way. Like I, I, I didn't see them when I was drawn. Uh, so they asked me to live stream on Facebook again. I think I'm gonna do that in a little bit. 
Okay, so I hope you guys got something from this. I obviously, uh, there's a lot of issues with this drawing right now. Uh, so this drawing, I guess, is about an hour and 20 minutes. Yeah, hi, Anna. Anna, I tried to do your technique with another coaching student, but they wanted no part of it. And um, yeah, where we kind of did the coaching together on Zoom. Thank you, Marie. So Marie, I'm gonna head on over to you, uh, Facebook. If you have time, maybe I'll see you there, okay? But I wanna thank you guys so much for watching me this morning. Um, this drawing has a lot of things wrong with it and I'm gonna work on it some more and I'm gonna try to fix those things. So hey, Ileana, thank you for visiting Ileana. Ileana, your last piece in the Critique Gallery was great. I really want to thank you for uploading. You, you've gotten so much better. So you've worked so hard, Ileana, and it's really starting to pay off all these years that you've been doing this. Um, have it, Yeah, my wife just started using Twitch like this past week because my daughter got her on. I, I'm more of like a YouTube person. Like I really, I'm always on YouTube, always. That's my thing. Uh, I'm, I've been lazy with Instagram. Um, but maybe I'll consider it one day. I just have to make an account. It's just going to be like another thing uh, for me to do. Thank you, Larry. All right, guys. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you soon, okay? All right, these should be posted on my YouTube channel uh, playlist. I'll do some tweaking with that right after this video, and then I'll come back to drawing. I'll talk to you soon. Be good. Thanks for visiting.